Hey guys, Justin from Talk Android here with the Nexus 5X because I want to give you a quick look at some of the new features found in Android N. Um, this week, Google surprised everyone really by introducing Android N without an official name. That'll come at Google I.O. in May. And they already released the Android N developer preview, which I installed on this Nexus 5X. So, um, you will see that things are pretty much the same visually. Um, you know, Google hasn't changed that much because the big overhaul for Android's user interface came with Lollipop. Uh, material design overhauled everything. You still get material design here. Google's moving forward with that uh, for the foreseeable future. So it's very familiar. But this wallpaper also is specific to Android N. Um, everything is pretty much the same. You can see there uh, they've changed a little bit about the uh, notification panel. You can swipe through to see more items. Um, they've switched around a few things. You can even edit it to decide what you do and do not want there. So if you want the cast button there, if you have a Chromecast or Android TV device with cast support, you can move that there. But if you don't, you don't have to have it there. Um, and it also uh, gives you the option to um, bounce between them. So at the top, you see that there's a little button for the drop down of the notification panel to minimize and whatnot. Um, when it's minimized and you just are looking at notifications, you'll see at the top you get a selection of uh, the top the top um, items, so Wi-Fi, uh, I don't have a SIM card in, otherwise there you would see your uh, your reception with your network, uh, battery life, uh, sound, and the flashlight, so uh, they're, they're quick little toggles, you know, Android um, 6.0 Marshmallow has those toggles here, but Android N seems to just make them easier to access. Another big feature for Android N is uh, direct reply. So now uh, you can just, if if the developer enables it for their app, you can just quickly reply to something. Google has already implemented this with Hangouts and its Messenger apps, um, but it's a little bit, actually a lot better uh, executed here because if you just tap reply you can start typing right away instead of a uh, an overlay on your screen showing up and causing you to block other content so you can just quickly reply back something like nothing much and then after that the notification sends off and you can see it's taking a little bit of time because this is the developer preview, so things aren't working, I guess, to um, to Google's fullest. You know, it's not stable. That's exactly the point I should get at. So the other feature that I would like to show you is the multi-window support. So if we open up two apps, we have Google Play and Twitter opened. If I hold down the multitasking button, you'll see that it splits. And I've selected Twitter and I've selected uh, Google Play. They share space and you can resize them very easily, just like that. And it also works in, uh, oh, say exactly. So Google Play has closed. So let's try this with um, Messenger. So let's split the screen between the two. And if we try, there you go. You will see that in landscape also on phones, uh, you can split space between them. You can copy text and take it between them. And then um, if you hold down the button again, it goes back to just one of the apps. And that is it for that. Oh, but you see, I, I've did it. I've done it a little, um, a little strange. So if I unmerge them on the same screen, now if I double tap the multitasking button, what it does is it quickly switches you to the next app. So if you do that, you'll just quickly switch between. I think this is a great feature because instead of having to tap between apps, now you can just double tap a single button to go to the next one. Very, uh, very handy. 
Also, you probably notice that right there it says Android Beta Program. I joined the Android Beta Program uh, for my Nexus 5X because I'm using a different phone so I can, I can afford the risk. But Google is doing this if you don't want to flash the Android N Developer Preview or anything else uh, manually, you can just enroll in the Android Beta Program and they'll send you an over-the-air update that moves you over to the Android N Developer Preview. And then from there, all of the updates come over the air. You never have to do anything manual, which I think is excellent. And when Android N uh, becomes publicly available with a stable release, you won't have to erase any data or anything. The Android N developer preview will just move right over into Android N in its public form. But if you want to go from Android N developer preview back to Android 6.0 Marshmallow, you will lose all of your data. So if you want to go to Android N, um, really think about it hard first. I only did it because I have other phones here that I can use. I really wouldn't recommend it, although most things work. Um, there are unstable parts. You know, when I, when I open Instagram sometimes, um, I get an error message. In Hootsuite, I can't tap tweets, which is obviously a big problem. So it's really hit or miss. For the most part, it's a hit, but there are missing features that aren't really working. Um, but other than that, this is really Marshmallow How You Know It with just a few bonuses. Um, I doubt Android N will become Android 7.0. It just doesn't seem like uh, there's a big jump, but who knows, you know, stuff stuff is going to be added to the Android N developer preview as we approach I.O., so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And that'll do it for us, but when there's more added to Android N, we will be covering it for you on Talk Android.